Good evening, everyone. Now, we are going to get a new collaboration called Golden Kamui. Now, as we all know it, uh, Japan has had this collaboration not too long ago, and we're only getting it within uh, two more days. Now, I want to get started upon what's going to be good, what's going to be great, and what's coming. Now, let's get started on first on the units. Now, I believe we have the names here. So, Sugimoto is actually the male character right here on the left-hand side. He is, by far, in my book, one of the most powerful units in the game. Now, why do I say most powerful is because he actually has a 32,000 damage on his uh, true art. Now, Mind you, uh, Saitama still beats him by the fact that at the moment Saitama does not have his true evolution, being that his uh, for real real punch kicks in at a 30,000 damage versus this guy's 32,000 damage. But what makes uh, Sugimoto really awesome is the fact that he actually has a higher percent chance to actually create faint, just like Reshiram. Now, another thing on top of Sugimoto is actually one of his passives. Now, if you guys have watched one of his videos, um, or sorry, not one of his videos, one of the videos posted up by Good Smile or the Grand Summoner's channel, you would see that Sugimoto actually has an ability, a passive that self-revives him, giving him a complete automatic, complete art activation and 100% HP. Now, this is crazy because he's also an only damage type dealer. Now, he has two attack type gears and one defensive gear. I do not know the f uh, stats of each one, but I do believe each one is 5 star ranking. Making him quite the good unit and quite the damage dealer. Now, um, his friend on the... Right there next to him. As Sire... Plus, I do not know how to pronounce his name. Isarpa's, uh, actually, she is, now, I'm gonna go, because I don't know most of the details about, um, Sugimoto, other than the fact that he is self-reviving and instant instantaneously gains his max bar gauge after he revives, so, I'll leave it to that, and the fact that he also stuns at his first art, so, yes, he's actually a stun unit along with a major DPS unit, so, that's actually kind of handy. And I forgot to mention that he also reduces the enemy's damage by 60%. What? No way. Yes way. And let's get down to the next unit. I will go to the weapons after I get to each unit, guys. So just hold on there. <laughs> now, Aspar, uh, Aspiras, or Asirpas? Sorry, I still can't pronounce that name. Asirpas. Um, she's quite the good healer. Not as good as Mako, which in a sense comes in handy, but I gotta admit, um, Mako still beats her by a long shot. But one thing about Aspir uh, Asarpa's is that she actually heals 25% of your HP. Now that's pretty interesting. Um, the next thing is that she actually, well, versus most units, what she does is a different version of... Well, I gotta admit, it's this is what I like of what's handy about her. Is that she increases your cool time speed for your art, your skills, by 150%. This is on true art, by the way, guys. True art. 150% on, um... Cool time speed. Also, she increases your equipment cool time by 30%. Yes, a whopping 30% cool time speed increase. And I believe a bit of art gauge damage. I forgot the percentage for that one. I will have to, I will put repost that. I will post that in the description below once I go back to seeing the values in the video. Or if you guys want, you can just go to the video yourself and see what she does. And I believe that's about it. Um... I do also believe her first art, which is her healing, actually increases art gauge. Or, yes, art gauge. I, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% certain about that one. I'm 0% certain. But beyond that, 
I want to get down to the next unit. Um, uh, what is his name? Toshizo, Toshizo, I was gonna say, skip, just keep it at Toshizo, I don't want to pronounce that. Uh, Hajikata? Hmm. I really don't know Japanese. Uh, yes, I looked at Toshizo as well. I have slight less interest in him. My interest rate being dim as heck. Because the fact that is he isn't really much of a damage dealer. Mind you, he has quite the powerful attack and that he's a dark type, like just like the rest, like come on. How come all the free units we're getting at this point is a uh, um a dark type? Come on. <laughs> but beyond that, he's actually quite he actually increases his own damage every time he activates his skill. So each time he activates his skill, his skill stacks up by a total of 10 times. So his damage increases up to 10 times what he could do. Now that's really about all he can do is that I don't know the rest of the details. I'm not 100% certain what his skills are versus the same thing for Aspiras or Aspiras. But I do know, know mostly about the gear, which I would suggest trying to get. Now, the exclusive gear is going to be insane. As we all know it, um, on Reddit, it was posted a while back on Reddit, like I said. Apparently, the katana that uh, that's on here has only a 45 second cooldown. Now, what does this katana do and what makes me want it so badly is the fact that it actually adds in 50 points of art gauge. What? For 45 cool time speed and it only it increases my unit's art gauge by 50 points? That's half the art gauge, guys. So, if you were to stick... And yes, these do stack. I will... And yes, I'm going to say this. This, this is supposed to stack. Now, if you activate, um, Aspira's uh, true art mixed with Fen's true, uh, regular art, they will stack. So, you're getting, I guess, 60% cool time speed, and you're using the katana to rapidly get that art gauge back up. Yeah, that boss is not going to survive. <laughs> Now, what unit would be most efficient with that gear? Now, I gotta admit, um, Saitama would be my number one pick for that, but I would actually like to go with Sagi Sugimoto since he actually decreases damage by 60% from the opponent and stun locks them. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, One Punch Man. You kind of lost my favorites when Sugimoto decided to be one of the best stunners in game, having an 80% chance. With the fact that he had in a 60% chance to, I mean, that's 60%, 60% damage debuff upon your enemy. So, if you guys really want that damage debuff, I would suggest going Sugimoto. Now, I don't know the rest of the gears because I can't remember. I haven't memorized them yet. But as I said, check on Reddit. You'll find everything there, and it's pretty self explanatory. <sighs> I believe that's about it guys. I have no other commentary to add to this video other than the fact that I will be posting more details in the future um, by putting it up on the uh, description. I might also provide the link for the Reddit, com Reddit information so if you guys want to look there you'll find it there quite pretty fast and that's about it. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video little self-explanatory video quite easily and find it useful that's so have a good day have fun and enjoy the game